In this video, we're going to show you how to check to see if spam filtering is on in Xfinity or Comcast, and um, to make sure that if it is on, you're getting a copy of it. So this can only be done through a browser. You can't use an email client um, such as Microsoft Outlook, et cetera. You cannot change these settings there. So what you need to do is open a browser. In this case, we're going to open Firefox, but it doesn't matter which one you open. And we're going to go to um, our Xfinity or Comcast account, and we're going to um, log in. That's the first thing we need to do. So I'm going to log in now. And once we're into the account, we're going to go ahead up and click on the envelope so that we can get the email. Now, once we do that, up in the upper right-hand corner, you're going to see a little cogged wheel that we call the settings wheel. And that's where you're going to want to click. And that's going to happen shortly as soon as the email loads. All right, so this is the cogged wheel in the corner. You can see that when I put my mouse on it, it says settings. I click, and the very first option on the menu is once again settings. So I click on that, and that will bring my settings up. Over in the left-hand column, under mail, we want to go to advanced settings. So I click on advanced settings. And now on the right-hand side, uh, you'll see spam filtering. Enable spam filtering is checked by default. Now you could uncheck that and then nothing would be filtered and everything would just go into your inbox. I don't really suggest that. The next thing you can choose is save a copy of emails marked as spam. By default, this is unchecked. That means that whatever Comcast or Xfinity considers to be spam, it just gets deleted and you never know it even went to you. We don't want that. We want to choose what's spam and what's not. So you're going to click Save a Copy. And now we're done with the settings. There's no Save button. I'm simply going to go back to Mail. And now you'll see that there is a spam folder, and right now there's nothing in it. It's empty. But that's where you would now find the things that Xfinity or Comcast is considering spam. You could then go in there and mark something not spam if it went in there by mistake. Again, you have to do this online. You cannot do it through an email client. So that's how it all works. And that's how you should make sure that you're getting copies of all your spam emails so you can decide whether they're really spam or not.